Okay, I want to show you guys real quick what a CSV file is. So right here on my desktop I've got titanic.csv. I'm going to open this up and what you see here, oops, I'm going to open it in text editor. Okay, now what you see here is first, comma, second, comma, third, comma, crew. Then we've got 325, comma, 285, etc. They're separated by commas, okay? This is why it's called a comma separated value file. So this is the simplest way to represent a table as a text file. That's why I'm giving them to you as CSV files. Now when you open this in your favorite spreadsheet editor, it's going to automatically guess at how you want to enter it into the table. And if this stuff isn't right, if it doesn't look right down here in the preview, then you're going to want to change some of the options. But the default is usually going to be correct. And what we see here is the, the table that came out from the CSV. Now, if I do something, for example, like say that I want to know the total uh, number of people on the Titanic here, I'm going to um, say that this is equal to the sum of these cells. Okay, in parentheses, boom, there's 2,201 people. But when I go to save this thing, it's going to tell me this document may contain formatting or content that cannot be saved as a CSV. That's because CSV, remember, is just the comma separated values as a text file. We've done something extra, something fancy here. We've put an equation in. This is unique to spreadsheets. So at this point, I'm going to want to save it as something other than a CSV format. You're also going to need to do this if your spreadsheet has diagrams or anything like that. Okay? I'm going to use ODF format on my computer, but if you're using Excel or something like that, you're going to want to use one of these others like XLS, XLSX, um, something like that. Okay? I hope this helps to explain the difference between CSV and a spreadsheet file.